turn rejection into a superpower. Hi friends! Today we're going to dive into a topic that makes all of us cringe, but is absolutely essential for growth? Rejection. But don't worry, we're not going to do that with a boring commentary, but an interesting story that you will not forget. We're going to laugh at Zoe's hilarious encounters with rejection and learn why it's actually one of the best things that can happen to you. Let's rewind a bit. Zoe was 25, fresh out of college with a theater degree and dreams of Broadway. With stars in her eyes, she headed to her first big audition. Zoe practiced her monologue in the mirror a hundred times, perfecting every expression, every pause. She walked into that audition room with all the confidence in the world, delivered her lines flawlessly, and was promptly shown the door. The director's exact words? Next. Ouch. That stung. But here's the kicker. Zoe learned that even the most successful people face rejection. Rejection is inevitable, but feeling ashamed about it is optional. It's part of the journey, folks. Fast forward a few months, and Zoe had an epiphany. What if she treated auditions like a numbers game? She read somewhere that the average actor goes through 64 auditions before landing a role. So, Zoe decided to test this theory. She signed up for every audition she could find. Musicals, commercials, plays, you name it, she did it. In one particularly hectic month, she went to 30 auditions. Guess what? Zoe got rejected 28 times. But those two acceptances? They were golden. One of them was for a quirky off-Broadway play that ended up being a huge hit. The lesson here is simple. Life is a numbers game. The more you try, the better your chances. Embrace the process of trying, reflecting, and improving. Think of it as a game, and suddenly, rejection isn't so scary. Zoe was feeling down after a string of rejections, so her best friend challenged her. And she said, if you go to 10 auditions this month, I'll buy you a fancy dinner at that new sushi place you've been dying to try. And if she didn't, Zoe had to treat her friend to a movie night with all the snacks. Zoe went on those auditions like a woman on a mission. Some were disasters, like the one where she completely blanked on her lines, but she made it to all 10. And yes, she got that fancy dinner. The moral of the story? Pretend that the cost of not trying is too high and you'll find yourself taking action. It's amazing what you'll do when there's sushi on the line. Speaking of disasters, let me tell you about the time Zoe auditioned for a role in a Shakespeare play. She thought she had nailed it. The casting director looked at her, paused, and said, Next. At first, Zoe was embarrassed. But then she realized every rejection was making her stronger. Eat no building her confidence. By the time she got to her next audition, she wasn't even nervous. She was just having fun with it. Rejections are good for you. Repeated exposure builds confidence and mental resilience. So, go out there and get rejected. It's good for your soul. Rejection isn't always about you. Sometimes it's just a mismatch. Zoe remembers applying for a role in a romantic comedy. She thought she was perfect for it. I mean, she had the rom-com heroine vibe down pat. But then, she got the dreaded email. We regret to inform you. At first, Zoe was bummed, but then she realized maybe it wasn't a good fit. Maybe she dodged a bullet. Seeing rejection as a sign of a mismatch rather than a personal failure changes everything. It's not about you, it's about fit. Finally, let's talk about building a life with options. Instead of obsessing over one specific outcome, focus on becoming the type of person who has options. For Zoe, that meant developing new skills, building her confidence, and creating a life she loved. She took up self-improvement classes, started a YouTube channel, and even learned to juggle, because why not? Suddenly, rejection didn't bother her as much. Zoe had options. And that, my friends, is the ultimate goal. When you're happy with who you are and the life you've built, rejection is just a minor setback, not a major disaster. So, there you have it. Zoe's journey from failures to success. So remember, friends, rejection is a part of life, but it doesn't have to be a bad part. Embrace it, learn from it, and most importantly, laugh at it. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and do share your rejection stories in the comments. Until next time.
Keep failing forward.